Given that most building sites start out as raw land, the first step in site construction work usually involves the grading of the site. Grading is described as any operation consisting of excavation, backfilling, and compaction, or combination thereof. As most projects involve grading, it is important to prepare a set of grading specifications for the project. These specifications are often used to develop the grading plans, which are basically a set of drawings that indicate the type and extent of grading work to be performed at the site. Grading plans and specifications shall be prepared and signed by a licensed civil engineer. Plans shall clearly indicate the nature and extent of the work proposed and that it will conform to the provisions of the applicable codes and all relevant laws, ordinances, rules, and regulations. The plans shall contain the following information, vicinity map of the proposed site, grading notes and complete project information schedule, property boundary limits and accurate contours of existing ground and details of terrain and area drainage. Detailed plans of all surface and subsurface drainage systems, retaining walls, and other protective structures plan to be constructed with or as a part of the proposed work, together with a map showing the drainage area and the estimated runoff of the area served by any drains. Location of any buildings or structures on the property where the work is to be performed and the location of any buildings or structures on land of adjacent owners that are within 5 meters of the property or that may be affected by the proposed grading operations. A drainage plan for that portion of a lot or parcel to be developed as a building site or building pad including elevations of floors with respect to finish site grade and locations of proposed stoops, slabs and fences that may affect drainage. Limiting dimensions, elevations, or finish contours to be achieved by the grading, and proposed drainage channels and related construction. Recommendations contained in the Geotechnical Engineering and Geology Report shall be incorporated in the grading plans and specifications. Proposed structures must be free of flood hazard. If a site is subject to inundation, overflow or erosion, provisions shall be made to eliminate the hazard. Therefore, plans must also show all mitigative measures to protect proposed structures. Where grading plans show proposed slope 6 meters or more in height, details for landscaping and irrigation for the slopes is required. Provisions for storm water flows to prevent erosion and sediment transport onto adjacent properties, adjacent roadways, storm drain systems and natural drainage courses during the rainy season. All projects with any grading or earth moving construction activity must develop and execute a plan aimed to minimize the transport of sediment and protect public and private property and natural drainage courses from the effects of erosion flooding or deposition of mud, debris, or construction-related pollutants. The plan must demonstrate best management practices which include scheduling, operating, and maintenance procedures, and treatment requirements that prevents, eliminates, or reduces pollution.